This is the fourth video of the section, Pruning Redundant Rules. In the previous video, we performed association mining with the a priori rule. In this video, we'll show how to prune or remove repeated or redundant rules. Choosing between support and confidence are the main constraints in association mining. For example, if one uses a high support threshold, one might remove rare item rules without considering whether these rules have a high confidence value. On the other hand, if one chooses to use a low support threshold, association mining can produce large sets of redundant association rules, which makes these rules difficult to utilize and analyze. Therefore, we need to prune redundant rules so we can discover meaningful information from the generated rules. You have to complete the previous task by generating rules and having these stored in a variable named rules. First, we identify the redundant rules using rules sorted function. So let's do that. We sort the rules by lift. Here we're trying to find the redundant rules. When we run, we see the output here. Once we know the redundant rules, we can then remove them. We use the inspect function with rules.pruned. Amazing! To find a subset or superset of rules, you can use the isSuperset and isSubset functions on association rules. These two methods may generate an item matrix object to show which rule is the superset of a subset of other rules. You can refer to the help function for more information. Here you can see the output in the right part of the screen. In this video, we removed redundant rules. Great! In the next video, we'll visualize association rules.